The jury rig boomstick stands in a weird place for me when I run Scout and Deep Rock Galactic. It's certainly not something that I'd recommend to be the main weapon you're killing enemies with, although you can spec it to be a bit more of a crowd control threat. I think where this weapon shines is in large bursts of single target damage. In this beginner's build for the jury rig boomstick, no overclocks are needed to do a lot of burst damage to some of the biggest threats in the game, like oppressors and dreadnoughts. This is the build you'll want to use if you're new to the Scout or Deep Rock Galactic and are about to enter endgame content where you'll be collecting the overclocks and cosmetics you need and want. Hi guys, I'm Legionless and this channel is about helping you enjoy your games more. If you want to enjoy your games more, subscribe to the channel and like this video to help me out. The jury rig shotgun isn't like a lot of the other weapons in the game. It's not something that you can replace your primary weapon with to start slaying enemies with. It really falls into two niche areas of effectiveness. It can be used as a panic button where you swap to it when you're out of ammo in your primary weapon or you need to reload and you're caught in a bad situation with swarms in your face. In these moments, you whip it out. Out, blast away what's closest to you, and then grapple away to a better position. The second area this weapon shines, which is what this build is going to target as effectively as possible, is in high burst damage. I think this build fits with the Deep Core GK2 primary a little bit better since a significant weakness of the GK2 is some pretty awful burst damage. You can definitely use this build with the Scout's other primary weapon, the M1000 Classic, but you'd probably make some tweaks to the shotgun or go with an entirely different build because the M1K is already pretty strong at burst damage. For this build in tier 1, we want to go with double sized buckshot. This is a really strong mod that gives an extra 3 damage per bullet. This is just 3 extra damage for every shot. This is 3 extra damage per bullet per shot. By default, what this means is that the base number of pellets fired from the boomstick is 8. Each pellet does 12 damage or 96 damage if all pellets land. Now with this mod, when all pellets from a single shot hit, they do 120 total damage. Just doing some quick math, that's an immediate 25% increase in damage. It's a pretty nice pick compared to an extra 8 ammo from expanded ammo bags. For tier 2, we want the mod that's going to give a huge increase in burst damage. Going with double trigger lets you shoot both shots from the boomstick nearly instantly together. Quick fire ejector, which increases the reload speed, is usually one of my favorite mods to run, but when crunching the numbers, it just makes more sense to go with what gives the best improvement to burst damage. I'll link a discord that created a DPS calculator I use in the description below. Since going through the math between the two mods isn't as important as understanding that double trigger trigger gives a very large increase in burst damage for the boomstick. In tier 3, we've got another very strong mod for burst damage. High capacity shells adds 3 pellets for every shot. I'm sure you'll remember that in tier 1, we went with the mod that increased the damage each shot does. So you'll see how both of these mods coming together makes for really nice damage. Every shot fired from the boomstick is going to do 15 damage per pellet and shoot 11 pellets. That's 165 damage per shot. When we can shoot out both shots together nearly instantaneously because of double trigger from tier 2, that means a lot of burst damage. Expanded ammo bags in tier 3 just doesn't give enough ammo to do enough damage to compete with this build. Even if you run both expanded ammo bags from tiers 1 and 3, that extra 20 ammo doesn't do as much damage as this build. In tier 4, improved blast wave gives us another little bump in burst damage since each shot does some blast wave damage. Compared to the other two mods in tier 4, this is the only one giving us a damage increase and unfortunately there isn't a mod that gives a good enough utility for doing single target damage like a reload or increased rate of fire mod would do. Super blow through rounds lets bullets over penetrate through enemies, hitting multiple enemies per shot. Tungsten coated buckshot improves the armor breaking of the boom stick and neither of these two do anything to help with damage. In tier 5, honestly you're more than welcome to choose the mod that you enjoy the most. They each have enough of a benefit to you and neither of them is so significantly better than the other that you'll be hurting yourself with going with one over the rest. Auto reload will reload the boomstick when it's been stowed for 5 seconds. If you're using the M1000 Classic, this would be a good option to run. You'll dump all of the ammo from the boomstick into your target like a dreadnought and then swap to the M1K, dump that magazine 
into the target and when you swap back to the boomstick it should be reloaded for you so you can dump another two buckshots. Fear the boomstick is an often slept on mod to run. Every time you pull the trigger every enemy within five meters of you has a 50% chance of fleeing in terror. This is more of a crowd control mod to run since it can save you when you're being overrun by enemies. Most of the enemies you can't kill will flee giving you some time to catch your breath when you've been overrun. And finally white phosphorus shells would be the option to go with if you want a tiny smidge more damage. 50% of the damage from each pellet creates heat. Enough heat and the on fire damage over time status effect is applied. This does some small tick damage, so it's certainly not going to be a game changer alone, but it can be combined with the cryo grenade in the scout's kit or the cryo cannon the driller has for thermal shock. Thermal shock does an immediate 200 damage when a frozen target takes heat damage or an on fire enemy takes cold damage. With this build, you'll be able to do some really high burst damage to high priority targets like Praetorians, Oppressors, and Dreadnoughts. Unfortunately, the ammo increase increasing mods just weren't strong enough to be better damage than the mods we're going to go with in this build. You're free to choose what works best for you in tier 5, as there are some fairly nice utility options there. The jury rig boomstick works really well with either primary weapon you run on the scout, though this build probably works a little bit better with the deep core GK2, unless you really need to have two weapons that deal strong burst damage, like maybe when you're running dreadnought missions on the scout. No overclocks are needed for this build, so you'll be able to take this build into endgame content. If you want to enjoy your games more subscribe to the channel and like this video to help me out join the discord from the description below if you have any build questions or want to play with other players share this video with others so they can enjoy their games more and thanks for watching